So how do we understand how local level land disputes can erupt into conflicts? A, a very helpful typology is to first understand the type of conflict, the type of land involved. Is it communal land, state land, public land, or privately owned land? Who are the parties and actors involved? Is it individuals, families, businesses, or government at all levels? What is the scale of the dispute? Is it locally based? Is it a regional conflict? Or is it a state-based conflict? It's really important to remember that local conflicts can easily be linked up with larger conflicts, and conversely, it's possible for larger conflicts to have an impact on smaller scale conflicts when political elites can seize upon these smaller scale conflicts to meet their own political agenda. This is especially true in, in ethnically based conflicts. And finally, what's the nature of the conflict? The nature of a dispute or conflict can be of several types. First, it could be a boundary dispute private property owners fighting over the demarcation of their lands. It can be about competing claims. As we'll see in the Haiti case study, there are many competing claims based on inheritance law within family members. While on the surface these may not appear to be serious, they can actually have severe consequences. Large-scale land policies, for example, land reforms, or larger scale urban initiatives such as land readjustment can create conflict and tenure insecurity for those who will be affected by the large scale land readjustment. There may be access and use disagreements. This is particularly true for seasonal uses or, or for groups that have seasonal access such as pastoral peoples in, and their conflicts with sedentary farmers, for example. Finally, Another type of conflict, inheritance and succession conflicts can particularly be hard on women and also be behind the scenes. So while formal law may be helpful to women, community practices may still prohibit women from inheriting land. So we can see by the typology presented that there are many aspects to a locally based conflict. What can make this even more complicated is when you have a myriad of religious laws, customary practices, and formal laws overlaid upon the existing conflict context. It's very, very important for local communities to be sure that whatever dispute resolution mechanisms they choose to build, that they are responsive to the actual context, to the realities on the ground. Thank you.